Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Side Dental Vlogs, and in today's video, I am going to give you a very important tip for clearing blocked and calcified canals. Many people think if the canal is calcified, it cannot be negotiated, which is not true. So, whenever you want to negotiate a calcified canal, there are some basic rules and some protocols which you need to follow in order to achieve the full working length of the particular root canal you are doing. So the first and foremost thing which I recommend everyone to do before doing any case of any RCT is take a pre-operative radiograph. The radiograph will tell you the canal shapes, size and whether it is calcified or not. So before starting the root canal, it's very important to take the radiograph in order to know the shape and size and everything of the canals. Usually the calcification occurs due to secondary dentin deposition as a result of chronic uh, exposure to caries like a young patient if he is getting a calcified canal means that's a carious tooth which has been there for a long time or uh, it can be due to a at chronic attrition of any patient or an older individuals where we get calcified and blocked canals so first of all whenever we are doing the rct if it's a carious case i recommend everyone to remove the caries lesion first. So many a times I've seen that people don't uh, remove the caries lesion and they proceed with the RCT. So the first and foremost thing is remove the caries, build up the tooth with composite or GIC, whichever you want. So building up the caries tooth will create a well-like thing. So when you do the access opening <coughs> and you can find the orifice, even if you can't find the orifice, sometimes sometimes there will be dentinal ledges uh, over the canal. So dentinal ledges can be removed with satellite tips. It can be fixed to the scaler, but it's very expensive. If you want to replace it, you can either use an EX24 burr with a non-cutting tip to remove those dentinal ledges. So after that, you put some sodium hypochlorite solution over the well and you can find some bubbles coming out. Coming out. So after that procedure, only insert your number 8 files, new K8 files and pre-curve it. Either you can pre-curve at the end, just pre-curve it till the tip. So whenever you are entering into the canal and you find any obstruction, don't try to negotiate it or pass through it. Just take out your file, curve it at the tip with your nail a little bit and then again reinsert it with, in a watch winding motion. And suddenly you will feel a jerk, a sudden entry point into the canal, which will take you up to the full canal length. So we have to clear that block or clear that calcification within to and fro motion. Similarly, we have to continue this with the number 10 file, number 15 file, number 20 file till the 20 number file is free. Then only you have to introduce your rotary endodontic instruments or rotary endodontic files. So this is the first step which I always follow. Sometimes if we even don't clear the block with this, we can use have you prep liquid which is available like EDTA liquid, not EDTA gel because if you use EDTA gel, it has the problem of accumulation of dentin debris into the canal and leading to more blockage. So I always recommend use two drops of EDTA liquid which is uh, available as have you prep plus and keep it over the canal. Okay and start negotiating. You will see the file is going very smoothly and the walls of the canals are also become very smooth after using of EDTA uh, liquid. And after every filing, you have to use sodium hypochlorite 5.2% after every, suppose you prepare and then you put hypo. And if you again insert your file, then again you, you use hypo. So a lot of copious irrigation is required in cases of calcified canals and uh, curved root canals or blocked canals. Another file which is available in the market is C pilot files, which we don't get sometimes because it's very difficult to acquire uh, because of the shops and all are not uh, dealers are not providing. So if you use C plus file or C pilot files, it's very beneficial to clear the block canals because the tips are very hard and they don't bend. And uh, slowly you can negotiate with sleep C plus files. I always recommend key whenever a can canal is calcified or it is blocked, don't prepare it too much because the more you prepare, the more time is getting wasted in the uh, clinics to make the canal bigger. So you can obturate till 4.25 and the distal canal till 6.20 or if it is a molar tooth, you can obturate till 6.25 of the palatal canal and mesovocal and distovocal canal, you can prepare till 4.25 only. So apply this tip into your practice and surely you will get benefits. Uh, 
and uh, if you like this video please give the thumbs up and do share this video as much as possible to the new young budding dentists and we have opened an academy also sai dental academy which is in bhubaneswar and we are running a 3 and a half month course uh, where you can come and learn under mentorship endodontic procedures prosthodontic procedures and normal general dentist dentistry procedures in which you can excellence get an excellence in dentistry and you can carry on with your uh, so this next batch is starting in october so if you have any inquiries you can dm me in instagram sai_dental is my insta id till then take care bye bye love you all